The Otter Elite is an extreme low bow stick with a subtle drag click groove that is the replacement for Otter's old 0100 series stick. The Elite is 95% carbon with a mix of premium Japanese and its Techstream carbon fibers. The stick features Otter's ultra high control area that I have been a big fan of on the sticks that I have used in the past. This stick weighed in at 515 grams and had a balance point of 39.5 centimeters from the head of the stick. Being an extreme low bow stick, it has a maximum bow point 200 millimeters from the head of the stick with a maximum 24 millimeter bow. The stick has a stiff feel on the ball, but it's more forgiving than the 0100 that I reviewed previously. The stiffness gives it a nice level of responsiveness and feel on the ball when you're dribbling. You can feel the ball make contact with the stick and that allows you to begin cushioning it straight away. If you don't cushion the ball as it hits the stick, the stiffness will cause it to bounce off, so this can be a double-edged sword. The stick is really nice to dribble with. That high level of responsiveness gives you absolute control so you know where the ball is on the stick while you're dribbling. This gives you a lot of confidence taking the ball into tight spaces knowing that you can beat the defender. The stick is an extreme logo stick with a thinned head aiding drag flicking meaning that it's really good for 3D skills and lifting the ball over a defender's stick. As I say, the stick does have an extreme low bow, so it can be a bit of a handful if this is your first time using that profile. The important thing to remember is to keep the ball flat when trapping, you need to make sure you get your left hand over the ball, otherwise the shaping of the stick will cause the ball to roll up and lift into the air. New carbon layout that Arta have brought in on their Elite Series stick utilises Techstream Carbon. This gives the stick a unique feel when hitting. The stick hits very hard, but with very little vibration. This gives you a great deal of confidence when hitting, even in the cold. You know that you can hit the ball very hard without the fear of that vibration. The slight cupping of the face doesn't affect the accuracy when hitting, especially when you're hitting with the sweet spot, so you don't have to worry about it throwing off your aim. Because of the extreme low bow, it's very easy to get under the ball when hitting and lifting it high into the goal. This is great for shooting, but obviously it's something you need to manage when you're playing hit passes. Just make sure that your left hand stays over the ball when you're hitting and you're able to keep it flat. When you are shooting at goal though, it's great fun to just lean back and hit through the ball and lift it high into the goal. This stick is also great for slap passing. The groove in the shaft is especially good for playing slider passes as it helps guide the ball down the stick and gives you more accuracy. The reverse edge on the Elite Stick is fairly thick. It walks the line between too thick to get under the ball when you're wanting to shoot on reverse and too thin to hit the ball flat along the ground when you're trying to pass to a teammate consistently really well. It leans a little bit more towards the thicker end which gives you a lot more confidence when playing passes and taking on shots but it's still thin enough that you're able to get under the ball when you really want to fire it high into the goal. The soft tool cupping on the face that's there to aid with the pickup and drag flicking is also a really nice addition when you're carrying the ball on your reverse stick. The cupping actually holds the ball when you're carrying it on reverse and keeps the ball held nicely on the head of the stick. If you angle it a little bit forward, it just keeps pushing the ball into the ground and keeps it on the head of the stick. This gives you a great deal of confidence when you're carrying the ball on reverse and need to change direction or perform a high speed lateral drag. This stick is tailored made to make flicking easy. It makes getting under the ball very straightforward. Once you have the ball on the face of the stick, you have great control of it because of that ultra high control area. So it lets you be very targeted with what you want to do. You can easily whip through the ball and fire it high into the net or push the handle forward to roll the ball a little bit higher up the stick first if you have more time or want to get a shot off with more power. I especially like playing slightly lifted passes to teammates just over an opponent's stick. Because of the ultra high control area's grip on the ball, once you've got the ball onto the face of the stick, you could play it with ease as if it was a normal push pass. This is a nice stick for overheads. The extreme low bow combined with the thin head and cupped face means it's very easy to get under the ball. Once you're under the ball, you can either push through and throw the ball 34 yards down the pitch, or you can roll the ball up the stick a little bit to add more whip, letting you launch the ball over 50 yards. 
If you roll the ball up the stick, you have to make sure you accelerate through in a straight line, as the extra high grip on the Elite will add spin, and if you don't flick straight, then the ball will bounce off to the right when it lands. The profile of the stick is really designed to specialise with drag control. The slight disc of the face makes it easy for picking the ball up on the move. This makes the first face of the drag click even easier and helps guide the ball into the bow. The shape of the Otter O-Series profile makes it easy to add power and width to your flicks as it really helps to guide the ball up the stick and fully utilise the bow. The subtle groove in the shaft gives you a lot of added control as the ball moves up and down the bow and it also gives you a lot more confidence to accelerate through it for the drag flick. The ultra high control area that Otter puts on the stick also comes very high up the face. This is great for drag flicking as it allows you to add whip and spin to the ball and makes the ball curve and it's more difficult for goalkeepers to read the flight of the ball. The Otter Elite is a great stick for drag flicking. Building on the back of the previous O100 stick, the cut face, groove and profile all combine to make this one of the best sticks that I have reviewed for ease of power and consistent drag flicks. Unlike the previous O100 stick, this stick has a lot more hitting power, but a softer edge given by that texturing carbon that allows you to be more confident with hitting harder without the fear of vibration that you had with that high carbon 100 stick. It has a really nice reverse edge for both shooting and passing and will give you a lot of confidence taking the ball onto your reverse stick in tight situations. The stick also has a very responsive feel on the ball making it great to dribble with. I think the Elite is a great step forward on the O100 that Otter had available before. It's much more usable than the 100 was and some of the negatives have been shaved off without losing any of the positives that I really liked about the old stick. This stick is something I would recommend trying if you're in the market for a drag flicking specialist stick. And I would put this in the same bracket as some of the top sticks on the market today. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you could like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it really helps. Come and join me on Discord. I have my own server set up, the link in the description. Come and chat to me about hockey, ask any questions you have about the stick, I answer as honestly as possible. There's more reviews coming soon, and there's going to be some giveaways in the new year.